Follow up now to a story we brought you earlier this week. On Monday, we introduced you to a family searching for the Good Samaritan who saved a man's life while at Misquamacut Beach. The man had been body surfing when a rogue wave broke his neck, paralyzing him in the water. Iowa News News reporter Julianne Lima spoke with a local surgeon to find out how common these injuries are and what you can do to avoid them. She joins us now with a story that's new tonight. On the same day, just hours apart, two men broke their necks while body surfing at Rhode Island beaches. While this may have been a freak coincidence, there are steps people can take to stay safe in the water. If this man hadn't helped, my husband would be dead today. Catherine Parmentier's husband, Gary, is lucky to be alive after a body surfing accident at Mesquamacut Beach this past Saturday. He remembers hitting his head and then he kind of remembers blacking out. He doesn't remember how long he was out for. But then when he woke up and opened his eyes, all he saw was water and realized he couldn't move. Luckily, another swimmer saw Gary struggling and brought him to shore. Just hours later and miles away at Narragansett Beach, another man broke his neck in a similar way. Body surfing uh, is you know, looked upon as a pretty enjoyable activity and we don't think of it as being something that's uh, so dangerous. Dr. Philip Lucas says he typically sees one minor neck injury a week in the summer months, but broken necks are much more rare. He says it's no coincidence both victims were men in their 60s. Middle-aged males are most at risk for neck injuries. Uh, while body surfing. That's because as we get older, our skeleton gets more rigid and our neck loses flexibility. Lucas says we shouldn't body surf when the water is rough and we should learn how to brace ourselves just in case. Keep your hands in front. Dr. Lucas says both men are now home from the hospital and are expected to make near full recoveries. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.